What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video and guys, um, this one's going to be a doozy. This is going to be a big one for me personally because I've noticed a lot of people are asking the same question every time. How do I build teams? What's the best team? What, who are the best units, etc. Right now, I want to point this out. This is a team building game and if you've ever played any gacha game where team building is involved, one character will not carry your entire team for the most part unless your name is M. Bison, but even then he eventually falls off because you got to get a whole team together to make him survive. Um, uh, so this video is really going to be focusing on how to build teams the proper way with full justification behind what I'm building. Uh, now I'm going to focus on mid, sorry, early to mid game teams and then I'm going to focus on end game teams and explain to you guys why I'm building the teams the way I am, what my thought process is behind it and how you should be going forward in terms of your own thought process when you're building your teams. Now I do want to point out the game did bring out something brand new, this little section here called lineup recommendations. So for challenges which is PvE, this is pretty decent actually. Um, I would make a lot. I mean, I would make a few changes here and there. To be honest, like for example, early game, you definitely don't need a tank. You can use a power unit, like like V Zang can be your tank. I would an extra, D I, would, I would add an extra DPS for early to mid game. Even Elena, I don't think I would, she's really required early to mid game. She starts being a lot more prevalent in like 30 plus stages, where uh, her healing scales off way higher with her attack because of gear. Uh, you know, other things such as her FS moving up, assist, etc., right, her vehicles, whatever the case may be. So some of these changes I would definitely make, but they're not far off. So let me go through what I would set up as my early team. So let's talk about the first team I would create. Now I'm going to go ahead and do challenge here, and I'm just going to show you guys actually what teams I would focus on. Now this is where I'm at, 3740. Um, right now I'm, I'm power gapped here, like I can beat this team here. Uh, which I'm fighting against, I can't. I can beat this team, but I can't beat this last one here. So uh, I'm currently stuck. But with that being said, uh, I can help you guys build your own team. So what's an early good team to start with? So we're, let's talk about early game. So let's say stage one, obviously up to stage. Consider 15 your early game. Okay, mid game we're also going to consider the same teams. That goes up to about 25 ish. And then from 26 onward, I would consider that more like mid to end. And then end game is like 36 and up. Okay, and 36 and up because you then start fighting two teams, three teams, and then eventually four teams. So you've got to get a full roster and you cannot reuse the same units on the same team. So let's start off with early teams. I want to talk about the win team first. Okay, so we're going to do, when you start off the game, you want to build a, uh, usually a, a unified team on the same factions. Now, wind has the strongest units in my opinion, so that's what I would start off with. Now, the wind team will look like the following. Okay, if I were to build a wind team, so you know what, let's get out of here. Let's go to... Um, Let's go to let's go to fighter and then actually talk about what when you actually know no, I think about think about let's go back to this okay so I'm gonna take away all my units here for this one let's take away every unit on every team okay I'm gonna just do this real quick so you guys get an idea of what the team is gonna look like because I do want you guys to have the full picture and I want to show you the combo I would set up etc right because I don't want you guys to be left left here with one with any astonishment and wondering so. We're going to do early wind team, early lightning team, and then early uh, flame team, okay? So early wind team would look like this for you. So you don't, you don't need a tank. So B-Zang, if you have him, you will go there. If not, I mean, a good substitution for him would be able as a tank. I mean, you can use him. Uh, he probably would be successful here tanking in this section, even early to mid game. But B-Zang is your go-to. He's actually used until end game as well. So don't even worry about him. If you get him, work on him. Um, Chun-Li would be a great one as well too because they're both speedy characters he adds a lot of speed to the team because that's what he's really meant for in damage reduction and interrupts uh chun -Li is speedy aoe and a ton of super battery charge so she'll get, get your gauge up super quick right so you want to use that and then guile in here for aoe bursts so he's all about the damage and he also uh does saber and does armor break and then lastly what you want to add on to this group is a nut as a cami so single target damage also does armor break and is probably one of the best damage dealing units in the game for single target okay so these are the units you want to probably use now the combo here it's up to you you can do pure aoe combo starting with uh kikosho then you can jump over to let me modify this here uh you can start off with aoe here and actually no, guile sorry and then do aoe here for a stun and then single target armor break there so you have aoe single target aoe single target with armor break 
uh, and this team right here will eat teams up. Another great great one to start with is starting with Guile. So Gar Guile's AoE is, is a, an amazing uh, opener. Uh, but then you have to use Zangief's AoE here, which is just a bleed. Um, and, and I believe Grave Injury, so it reduces healing. So you'll miss out on his stun, but you also can open up uh, the AoE here for by Chun-Li. And then Guile's AoE Somersault Kick there. So this is pure AoE. This will eat up teams really quick early to mid-game. You don't really have to worry about stunning right away. Mid-game, that's when stunning becomes more important. So this AoE here is going to take over. Over, okay, so this team here is speedy probably the fastest team you're gonna get from the wind team Also gonna give you a ton of AoE damage a ton of single target burst damage a super gauge increase as well as the fastest team Probably on the in the game right now in terms of uh, wind roster Okay, so that would be the wind team from early end. I promise you this team will take you forever now There is an exceptional uh, unit here that I haven't talked about and that's gonna be guy now guy is a back is a is a mid and uh, back um, row killer essentially so if you have someone like Dalsim that's in the back or someone in the middle that's causing you a lot of problems you actually want to have guy be the ultimate combo first so you can put chun li in the back and you do a guy combo go into a single target with uh with guile another guy combo which again will hit the middle unit again uh and then in a single target here which will end up doing a ton of damage for um and and sorry a ton of damage and as well as armor break or you can do this here for grave injury single target and then aoe with guile so it's up to you but if you're looking to kill a middle unit or an end unit you also want to put an assassin in your team and guy is great for that he's also probably one of the best assists in the wind so if you want to put cami back in for single target damage guy was one of the best crit assist and buffers so you want to put her whoever your best damage dealer is guy can take that role uh, and then if you need a shield for your tank, Abel is a great assist, all right? So this is an amazing starting team. As you can hear my logic, I have speed, super gauge, I have uh, AoE, and I have single target burst with buffing involved, right? So that's how I would do the AoE team slash super gauge team slash speed team slash burst team. And it's all win, so you get the full, uh, full shebang here of four uh, faction units with HP and, and, and attack of 25, okay? Um, so that's the full win team. Let's go over to the lightning team all right now this one here is going to be a little different okay where you can build a couple teams here one i would do blanca from the start you don't need a tank from mid to early sorry early to mid but eventually e honda will take over or zangief will take over both are amazing tanks e honda has a slight edge in the beginning uh but zangief ends up having a slight edge i believe at the end so end game zangief will be a better tank well not better but they're pretty close but he has more utility right so for now blanca can do shock aoe and does a counter amazing unit to use in, any, in every position. Uh, you can throw in um, Combat Guile, shock damage, uh, has incredible HP, has a, de a dispel, so if you're fighting anybody who needs to dispel, a great unit to throw into there. Also, if you need to add more uh, shock damage, you can throw in the new Kami. So let's throw in the new Kami, where is she? she, she da, 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 da. I have her somewhere, somewhere around here. Hold on. Oh, you know why, because she's here. Uh, you can throw in the new Kami if you need a, if you if you have her right early on. If not, take her out. She's paid to win, and we can throw in another lightning unit, and that is poison. Poison does AOE, silence, and shock damage as well. So you're doing a ton of shock, shock damage here. And then lastly, if you need a burst damage dealer, you throw in Mad Ryu. Now Mad Ryu here, early game on shines because he pretty much one shots everything. Mid game he kind of starts suffering. So what I would do in this case is remove poison and add in Elena to keep him alive. And that way, the the sacrifice sacrificing of HP on on Ryu is a lot less prevalent, and you notice he will survive more with Elena healing him. So the combo here would be AOE heal, AOE single. That's perfect. That's exactly how I would have it. Or I would switch it up just a tad bit here and put a single damage here as well too, if you want to do some shock damage instead. But Ryu probably takes the cake here. But you want to keep Blanca going as much as he can, and Blanca has super armor, so he won't get hurt. Now, what, what do you want to do for uh, survivability? Honda here, 8% uh, damage reduction on all players, um, as long as he's an assist. And then here you can put in uh, Zangief or Poison. Uh, if you have Charming Dudley, he's actually really good too. Charming Dudley's not a bad option for DPS, so I'll toss him in there. Uh, and then that there gives you your Lightning Team, all right? Now let's move on to Flame Team. Let's go to the third team here, Flame. And again, guys, this is early to mid-game units, right? I will talk about end game, mid and end game shortly. All right, so this here is going to be a little bit of a different setup. DJ as a tank, he has a shield, he has a stun, uh, he survives pretty well, but if you want someone who heals and keeps himself alive longer, Hugo's another great option. Okay, so those two tanks are great. Sea Viper, 
absolute assassin will destroy the back 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 group so fast and so quick so definitely have her in there she should be your starting uh move because she will double double tap the back unit and assassinate them pretty quickly plus she has a self buff that stays and it continues to grow as it, as you keep using her uh special so amazing amazing unit one of the best assassins in the game fei long is a great support because he increases flame damage he does flame um and also he does flame damage himself plus he can do a stun with his ultimate and then lastly dalsim dalsim is going to be your go-to here so she has detonate so the more flame damage you put out and he has a flame carpet on the floor plus his yoga flame adds more flame damage she detonates that flame uh stacks really quick and all that damage happens all at once rather than a tick and he increases the vulnerability of that flame damage so making it way more powerful all right now the is a pretty good unit to have here with her because she will do an execute if you want to do all flame team um and then for and then for anyone else you're looking to add more damage to or survivability you can add dj here to hugo just to keep them up on the live a little longer right so those are your flame teams guys so those are the three main teams i would use for early game access and these guys will dominate for a very very long time all right now you can mix and match the mixing matching here you can put elena here as a as a healer if you need someone but you usually don't need a healer don't even really need a tank b zhang here elena here will keep this whole team alive for very long right so here's a mixed match team for example let's take everybody out Hope you guys got this in your in your portfolio because we're gonna we're gonna do a, a quick mix match team here. Okay, one one team that can pretty much carry you across the entire um, game to mid game. All right. So the most powerful team for mid game that's free to play friendly is gonna be B Zhang, Guile, Chun Li, and Elena. Okay. This team here will will take you really far, like super super far. You can put uh, e Honda there for for uh, for more damage reduction and Cami in here for armor break right away. Really really powerful team. This team here, pretty much I explained it all to you already. But mixing it together, this team will do everything you needed to do. Has speed interrupt, uh, has AOE, has super combo gauge, has armor break, has damage reduction, has heals. Amazing amazing team. The combo here would be straightforward. You do something like this. Uh, here, here, and here, right? And Chun-Li, again, is, is useful there as well, too, so you can put her in there if you want more armor break. So it's up to you how you want to roll with that, but that combo three, you can't go wrong with either of them. Or you can do this way here, where it goes uh, single, AoE, AoE, right? So that way you have AoE, heal, AoE, AoE, full AoE team there. So that's an amazing setup for that team. Now, I haven't talked anything about end game or mid game, and when you get to that point, you want to mix and match again, but let's talk about some Infernal teams, okay? Infernal and Master teams. So this is my end game team. Bison for a, res a resurrection, survivability, and tanking. Pretty much does mass AoE damage, it does weaken, uh, and also just stays alive, right? MH Ken for knockback, also uh, Dragon Curse Rage, which does a debuff and also uh, debuffs the units and buffs yourself, as well as there's a knockback and is a bruiser and, and has lifesteal, so you really can't die most of the time. Uh, and then I use Gen here, who is a pure damage dealer with a mirror image, also has insane dodge, and also provides massive burst for single target damage. And then I use either Elena here, depending on the fight, if I need big heals, or I use Rose. All right, now Rose has healing, has Terra cards, which do insane buffs, and also uh, has an, an, an obscene amount of utility, all right? The only problem here is if you use Rose, you lose the combo three, so this is why I toss Elena in here, and this is how the combo will look like, all right? So one second here. Uh, oh, actually, I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, you know what? Um, I use Rose here. My apologies, guys. Gen is actually my assist. I use Rose here. There we go. That's my team. Okay, and then it goes like this. I do AoE, heal, buff, AoE, and then Ken does combos between one and two. Or I do single target damage with Ken to give him the burst, as well as the knockback and the buff for resistance for damage. So it was heal, buff, AoE. So this here is the most popular one probably for survivability. This here is the most popular one for keeping uh, Bison in front and having him uh, just continue to resurrect. Uh, this one here I don't use very often. It is really good because she does more buffs with this and the additional buffs there. But again, not really useful. But this is my go-to team for my... Um, uh, for my end game, and I also put this Pajiri again in there, giving me the full uh, bonus here, as well as the three bonuses here, which is pressure, speed, and defense bonus, right? Making the Bruiser survive even longer. So again, that's the thought process behind that one, guys. Again, Bison's there to do damage, resurrect, uh, AoE, and continue keeping weakened up. 
Ken is a bruiser who stays alive. Lifesteal, knockback, uh, extra combo added to the utility, as well as Dragon Curse Rage, and insane amount of damage. Rose is there to buff and self-heal, uh, and also provide backup healing for Elena. Elena's there to do healing, and then with plus 30, she also includes Battle Dance, which increases everyone's attack power. The Mirror Image from Gen is uh, extra DPS for, for Bison, or you flip it around this way, depending who's doing the Ultra, so it'll be for Ken. And then also Jiri's there if you want to absorb, uh, I believe her, her assist is you absorb the unit's attack and then you, you keep it for yourself and it stacks like that. But also at the same time they're there to maximize your full potential on your uh, infernal buffs as well, okay? So there you go, there you guys have it. That's how my team works out. Uh, there's a lot of other options, guys. Like for example, I didn't talk about Fashion Sakura, didn't talk about Fashion Blanca, didn't talk about all those other units. But if you have any questions on team building, this is just a sample of how to build a team. There are obscene amounts of options, guys. Uh, so it's best gonna work on what you have on your roster. So based on your roster, if your roster is small and it's intimate and you don't have too many units and you're focusing on specific ones, Read their skills, see how they complement each other. And remember, there's faction tower, so you eventually will have to work on all of the different factions and getting them up, because once you hit Dojo 120, if you haven't seen that video, check it out, it's on my channel, uh, you get crazy good buffs from the Dojo. So definitely work on getting different units from different faction guys. I hope this video helped you a little bit. Um, that's my take on, on team building. That's how I personally do it and I think it works really well. I do it in all the games that I play. I usually do a lot of tutorials for team building and they work out really well. And I've helped a lot of you guys past stages that you've had struggle with. Um, so remember, keep in mind guys, when you build teams, read the skills and understand how different units complement each other. If you have a hard time, write it down somewhere and, and, be, and test it out during the actual uh, matches. You can do it during like just regular challenges or you can do it through PvP and PvE. A lot of these units will be good in those um, in those modes as well too, right? So I just want to focus on that. Now this is strictly a challenge PvE mode team building session. Uh, bosses and such, we can build, we can do another whole video on that, but this is strictly for PvE uh, progression on stages and uh, and content for that. All right, all right, guys. Pain. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.